So we have Tyler leading with a Haunted Bridge uh, Try Land for Quentin. And we move along Sulphur Springs at a pass. No turn to play there for Tyler means no Buster and no uh, uh, Blood Tithe Harvester. Yeah. But the interesting thing is there was also no Blue Land. Right. So it's not, can't have Make This Appear here. Yep. Here we, have, we do actually see the Blood Tithe Harvester. Yeah, after um, Quentin plays Shiver Reef and passes. With our makeshift blood token. Quentin yes. kind enough to replace it. Yeah, I... Uh, it's not I wrote, often that we're missing tokens on coverage. Like, well, well, yeah, blood is really... Uh, it's one that everybody's using and they and, need a lot of. Yes, yeah, so not surprising here. See a cut down uh, to take care of that Blood Tithe Harvester um, from Quentin. Main deck and children grows from that. Um, here we see the first uh, fable played for uh, Quentin. Good, uh, good turn three play. Um, cut down drawn for Tyler. So he has a way to take care of that uh, shaman, but looks like he's discarding. He didn't find land. Yeah, Tyler really far behind if he's not able to make his land up here. Because Quinn's going to be able to attack, make, put a sh children into play, put a cast and invoke, do really whatever he wants if that if that goblin gets to attack and for free. Yeah, that jump from three to five is huge. With a, with uh, a braid is going goblin. to the bin. Card is being drawn. Well, Xander's land. Xander's lounge coming into play. Okay. Um, well, it does have a cut down for the um, goblin token. Um. So that. You know, should be able to answer that, but that leaves uh, Quentin able to really do a lot of things here. Quentin's able to attack here, and the thing is, is that Quentin's still uh... yeah, Quentin. If Quentin is able to attack, I should say. Oh, discarding cut down. Okay, cut down in a Shivan Reef. Looks like it's drew a swamp and another card. Tries to go to combat, but see that cut down out of Tyler to not be able to make that jump to four. Or rather, to five mana this turn. So there is a, uh, a Blood Tithe Harvester in the yard, so Quentin's able to go ahead and deploy a Corpse Appraiser, yep. hit the Blood Tithe Harvester, and, you know, this is... this Corpse Appraiser, we were talking about earlier how it does a lot of things in, like, these... Oh. Well, that was strong. Yeah, uh, <laughs> does a lot of different things in these these kind of pseudo these Greek these um, mid range mirror matches. But mm -hmm. even here, where it's maybe not even at its best, it's still you know pulling Quentin even further ahead on resources. Right, and Quentin ended up taking the invoke despair. We we kind of scoffed because that was like, what is Tyler thinking here when he sees Shieldred and Fable yeah. bin? Right, like that's probably the only card. Like, what's better than those two? All right, we see a fable here, and this is going to be a pretty insane invoke despair from Quentin. Yeah. It's going to be able to take care of both of these, as well as draw him a card. Oh, it's oh, that another, another invoke despair? Yes. Yep. All right, fable flips over. We do see there is a swamp in hand for Quentin. Yep, plays uh, the shipwreck marsh. Yep, clean, taking care of fable. I'll draw a card. You lose two card's so good. Quentin going to be able to get in there with the Corpse Appraiser, bringing Tyler all the way down to 14 with nothing but three lands in play. He's, He's so far ahead. Alright, Tyler's going to take an untap. Drew another Fable. I mean, I guess that's step one is to try and get back into this game. Right? Is... is... Okay. Alright. So, Tyler opting to uh, oh, a little preemptive here. Uh, <laughs> Quentin reaching for the children. Quentin's like, I assume you're doing assume this. Assume you're doing this if you're take, taking a look at those cards. Um, to try and find land. There is a land. Okay. Looks like a Takanuma and is it a Fable bin? Important to know here that doing that Corpse Appraiser play also took the last creature out of the yard. Right, so the future Corpse Appraisers can't... Uh, but Quinn had the land anyway, so Quinn's going to be able to put Tyler down to nine, um, and then with corpse, make another corpse appraiser to attack with. 
Oh, yeah, because now the Corpse Breeder is going to eat the other one. Yep. Goodness. So Tyler's going to go to three here? If he doesn't have an answer? Eat your Corpse Appraiser. Swamp, Shipwreck Marsh. So three lands. All right. So <laughs> the Fantastic Three and then the Not So Great Three. Quentin with a right. full grip. I believe that is actually seven cards. Uh, yeah, and Tyler really has to remove both things here, right? Because the Fable can still threaten lethal with any any creature, really. Um, yeah. All right. So Tyler's gonna pack it up here. <laughs> That was a quick game one from our players. Uh, let's come back here. We kind of already talked a little bit about this, but mm -hmm. let's go over it again. Quentin's got, depending on how you want to sideboard, he's got Gix's Command. Um, he's got uh, things like Graveyard Trespasser. No Liliana's in the 75 for Quentin. Okay. Um, we've got those Siphon Insights, you know. And it's kind of like whether or not you want things like Negate, Dress, Soul Transfer. Uh, I'm sure that Quentin, uh, you know, who's, who's been playing this deck in a lot of RCQs, mm -hmm. he knows kind of how he wants to sideboard. Uh, I expect the Bank Buster to come in. I expect yep. the Siphon Insights to come in. Um, I think that a Braid in the Mirror is totally reasonable, depending on what you're looking to cut. Mm -hmm. um, also, I think Quentin would decide whether or not he wants Make Disappear on the player of the draw. Yeah, I could see, I could see that. Yeah, having the, the four Braids, especially with... Um, uh, you know, Tyler playing the, the big artifact, uh, Blade Coil Serpent. You think it Quentin knows like that he's playing Blade Coil, Coil I Serpent? I don't know if he does or not. Um, it's always... It, ha having the abrades always seems relevant, right? You can you can, you can can kill a uh, uh, Corpse Appraiser, Fables. Um, I'm fine. When I've, when I've played Grixis, I've gone up to, to the full four, um, you know, go for the throats and, um, and, and the four abrades. It's definitely yeah. reasonable. So we... So from Tyler, we have Siphon Insight, yep. Blade Coil Serpent. I mean, depending on if you want Liliana, depending on if you want Soul Transfer. Uh, what I do mean, you think about Liliana? I guess not depending. You should bring in, in Soul scenario. Transfer. Yes, should bring in Soul Transfer. I we'll imagine we'll see that from both sides. I'm not, I'm not actually. I have not been a fan of Liliana in the mirror. I know okay. that, but I think the thing is, is that if you don't like, I, the thing is, is, the format's really hostile towards Liliana, mm -hmm. and I think the reason for that is how good Liliana was at the beginning of the format, and I don't think that the format has adjusted enough for it not to be hostile towards Liliana. Um, yeah, and, to be able to, yeah, just like dash um, or what is it, blitz the right. Trespass yeah, I mean the the thing underdog. is, is like you're not even playing underdogs anymore yeah. in your Grixis decks because you don't need to. Yeah. Um, that being said. I think that it's safe to say that if you like Liliana, this is probably one of the matchups for it. Okay. Good to see. How many Bank Buster... Who's winning the Bank Buster Mirror Let's War here? Let's see here. So I think... Uh, full four, three in the main, one in the side, four, Tyler... And Quentin's got two in the main, one in the side, but he's got the four Siphon, Siphon insights. insights. Okay. So technically Tyler is winning the Bank Buster... Uh, number count but looks like they are ready to go down here so we'll get you back down to the feature match area okay looks like both players kept their hands leading on xander's lounge powerful try land the Xander's Lounge uh, call by Quentin, as, I, as you would call it. Mm, see, this one had this, this one has a two drop. Yeah, so we see a bank buster out of uh, out of Tyler here. Um, technically, Tyler's Xander's Lounge would would trump Quentin's because it is foil. I don't think that's how it works in poker, man. Oh, but we're playing magic. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so Swamp for Quentin and passes the turn. Okay. Let's see a shipwreck marsh from Tyler Fable. It's meeting a counter spell here. It looks like yeah, make disappear. Quentin leaves in the make disappears. It looks like uh, on the draw even. That's yeah. interesting insight to note. Now Quentin is free to resolve his own fable. 
pretty powerful. Yeah, winning the Fable War now. Yep. Losing losing the battle to win the war, <laughs> as they so to speak. Oh, for sure. Sulfur Springs here. Is this a Shieldred? It, it is. is. So now Quentin has an interesting decision because he needs to, if he's going to kill that Shieldred, he has to actually do it before he draws if he wants to draw the extra cards. So took his draw step, taking the two. Yeah, now the decision if we want to. So Quentin looks like he does either have a soul transfer or a go for the throat there. I'm not sure which that is. Oh, you know what? That might be an invoke. Uh, yeah. So he might have to throw the goblin shaman under the bus just into Shieldred to be able to um, cast the invoke. And I guess when you draw your cards from invoke, if you're if they're sacrificing Shieldred, oh, but he can uh, Tyler could crew the bankbuster to keep his Shieldred alive. So invoke's not really an answer. No activation here. Okay. What's interesting, interesting though is that if you don't if you don't block, which okay, I was gonna say a braid t turns on there too. Right. Yeah. So crewing the bank brush of a shieldred, you then a braid uh, and get in. It does not uh, look like QJ has the braid though. Okay. So now he is he's forcing them to, to make. Oh, the but no crew there from Tyler. Did not see the line to crew the bank buster. I I think. Or he values the bank buster. Maybe, right? I mean, we made such a big point of right how important that is I and mean, who is winning the bank buster count. I think QJ has to discard here. Maybe? Oh, nope. Press full seven. Or maybe that's that speaks to how maybe Shieldred isn't as important in this matchup. All right. And oh. the, <laughs> tapping five mana. All right. I guess I am losing my Fable and Goblin Shaman. Tyler will draw a card. Quentin will lose two life. Uh, taking one there to do that, like total 16 to 13, and a pass of the turn. A right. couple bank busters in hand for Quentin. Um, it's time here. Looks like we're going Corpse Appraiser. Yeah, going to exile the Shieldred. Make sure that uh, doesn't come back. Ooh, we see a Duress, Fable, and Sulphur Springs. Now, it looks like Quentin might be looking for a land. I think Quentin actually has a land oh, yes, there does. on the end, so okay. I would expect that probably the Duress is the pick, uh, just for early, for, just for cheap interaction, but I could be wrong. Yeah, it's. I think it's defensible either way, right? Uh, Fable is one of the best cards. Um, and Fable is the take. And it is the take. Okay. Yeah, because I guess he has a, a play this turn anyways by playing his own bank buster. Yeah. So that seems reasonable. Just like I'm going to get as much card advantage as possible. <laughs> well, Quentin has pulled, you know, ahead uh, after a really strong start from Tyler there. Yeah. Uh, switching uh, removal of their their fables and creatures with invoke despairs. Um, Shut up. Bunch of cards in hand. Here. Shout out to Andrew in the Twitch chat. Uh, nice to nice to see you watching. Thank you so much. And I tell tell Heather that I said hello. Oh, awesome! All right, so we got five mana here separated out for Tyler. This generally means another invoke. All right, so this one puts QJ down to twelve. Okay. Draws yeah. Tyler two cards. And it looks like he doesn't need to this time. Need, yeah, those are there are two pain lands there, right? Or, or is that a marsh? Oh, that is a marsh. Okay. Well, if he only needed to do it last time, and he's got this red, blue land untapped <laughs> this time. All right. All right. So QJ deciding how to use his mana most effectively. Right. Uh, probably. Fable? Also, weird to have your best friend on coverage. I keep calling him QJ. People are like, no idea what this guy's talking about. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> we were getting nickname, but Quentin Quentin's great. So another corpse appraiser is is the go here. Uh, so we see a go for the throat, uh, invoke despair, and smoldering or the yeah. shipwreck marsh. Quentin is very much highly uh, valuing value in the, this game. Yeah, and 
thus has elected to once again put the highest value card in his hand. Um, leaving up mana this time, not electing to go for the play with the Fable. The fable. Maybe it's uh, just wants to start getting Bankbuster going? Yeah, I think there's also a Siphon Insight here on the end. Right, yep. That is powerful. Um, also, something that's not even finished. If, if, if uh, Tyler did bring in Liliana, Siphon Insight is good as a something you can just discard to Liliana. Absolutely. Free. But Tyler weighing his options here, playing a Swamp. All right, Fable for Tyler here. So we already know Quentin has the um, answer. The answer to this with the invoke. Yep. Um, Tyler with the pass. Okay. Yep. We'll see. End of turn. One of my favorite cards in standard. Siphon Insight. Alright, so top two here. Didn't quite get a glance at that. Mystery card. It's a, ooh, it's a mystery. Okay. On tap for Quentin. Got a couple bank busters in hand. Ooh, a braid. Now, does he have another land to be able to do both? I guess either way, if he draws land off of the. Um, oh, can't crew the bank buster this turn because it doesn't have enough power. Establish that one. Three mana. Okay. Flashback Siphon Insight. Hmm. Tyler weighing his options. Tyler is going to attempt to draw a card here. Okay. Drawing with Bank Buster. Maybe trying to find a negate. Something to, to interact there. The Silver Falls. And it looks like another land. Silver so, so, so Springs, I should say. Yeah. There's, there's so many names, and they're all very similar. <laughs> So inter interesting to do that that Siphon Insight. It's an instant speed spell. Uh, electing to do that in the main phase. So just trying to just find land, make sure he hits his land drops. Coming in with the Corpse Appraiser. And a block from Tyler. Interesting. So I guess Tyler's at 13. Life totals are not very high. I see Bankbuster numero dos, number two for Quentin. Quentin's doing, once again, past. kind of what we talked about earlier in this game where he's very much valuing uh, value interactions mm -hmm. um, and you know right now it appears that it's paying off for him yeah pretty far ahead I guess yeah it doesn't have to have to cast the invoke despair he's got that on tap he's holding uh, fable the mirror breaker um, let's 
see. A couple lands discarded for Tyler. Ridge. One of the things that's different this this time than about the last game with the invoke, uh, yeah. it, well, the last time we had invoke potentially with Sheldrick, that's actually what I was going to say, interaction here, is that this time uh, Quinn actually has the upgrade for the Bank Buster. Got it, yep. So it can't be the sacrifice for the... Um, the invoke. The, the, the invoke. Okay, yeah, it'll get restored. Now he has the mana to, to be able to do that. Um so Quentin drew in response to the Shieldred, right, to try and avoid taking some damage. Uh, we see another Bank Buster. Doesn't really solve the problem for Tyler, as the it, crew would uh, would already have tapped the... Right, that crew won't resolve um, before uh, we get there. All right, so another land here. Pulling aside the invoke mana. Opting to draw a card. Okay. Gain two. And just sacrificing, not going for the crew. Quint will draw a card here. Is that another looks, invoke at the like end another, there? It looks like, well, we already knew we had two invokes. I think he actually has two upbraids as well. I think Quentin's hand is invoke, invoke, upbraid, upbraid, and fable. And a bank buster. Oh, is there. it a bank buster? Yeah. Not a, okay. Right. So Quentin can crew one of the bank busters and get him for four. Um, if he wants to leave the shields down. Opts to not. Value his life total. He's a little behind on life. Um, do the shield rid. I honestly think it's another instance of Quentin just valuing the card of one of the bank busters along with the life. I don't know. You know, mm -hmm. just very much about resources in this game. Who well, doesn't have the mana to draw a card? He's only got one mana available. Are those not two lands in the? Oh, the oh, yep. I thought those were tapped, right? Because he didn't have to cast the upgrade. All right, so here's Fable. And Corpse Appraiser. He has an opportunity only... to respond here um, by potentially killing the Bank Buster with three on it. T oh, taking away some of those cards. Okay, what's that resolve? Tyler's going to take a look at three. one in his hand and we see him make disappear in a Xander's Lounge I think at the yard got three pain lands available so anything colored will hurt him here okay and Quentin's going to draw a card with the Bank Buster Tyler's going to target the Bank Buster that with drew a, braid. a card with a braid yep so keeping uh, that value, the ones that are the closest to getting a treasure and a pilot to crew um, further out of reach. Looks like a soul transfer there for Quentin. That's pretty freaking good, except... He doesn't really have any creatures in the graveyard, right? Corpse Appraisers has, have kind of um, taken away that second mode. Um, so having the enchantment and the um, not as powerful, but... QJ once again stopping the Fable activations from Tyler. Yeah. Yeah, that, that 
denying the card filtering is really okay. So now, so we he's see a crew. now he's going to try to crew it. I'm going to respond with an abrade. Something we'd seen kind of from the beginning there. All right. Okay. Tyler leaving the 3 3 in place in case he needs to crew at a later time. Yep. I like that. And is that another braid? It is. So I'd say we're, you know, board parodies about the same, but. Quentin is definitely ahead on cards. Yeah, it's got f six to one. Yep. And, uh, two of those cards are fables, which are two for ones in and of themselves. So yeah, really getting to see the patience here. I really like the Pay no off. the no uh, attack from Quentin there as well. <laughs> it seemed like he was cheering for something. I am assume it's no Just blade like, coil. Yeah. <laughs> That's so much mana. So draw up the Bankbuster. Peg mana got grouped real quick. Yeah. Oh no. Do we do we commentary jinx it? <laughs> I don't think that's a thing, but it did. It, it, it did look kickers, like right? it did like, look like a blade coil was about to come down just now. Right, where you see in football, where a, a commentator says, "Oh, he hasn't missed a kick this entire year." Liliana. Liliana. Okay. Crew in response. Sack the corpse appraiser. Funnily enough, QJ actually doesn't mind this uh, exchange. Because he now he, okay. he now has a creature in his graveyard for the uh, the, soul the soul transfer. That's perfect. Not that it's going to matter though. Uh, oh, I, for some reason I once again thought that we had another invoke. <laughs> I mean, has he cast all four of them this game? One, two, three. Okay. Um, in any case, Fable. Plus soul transfer. We'll let you pick up corpse appraiser. Um, I guess you could exile. Do you try, do you try a duress? Oh, two mana. Okay. Braid there. Braid the artifact. Don't think that blood's in play. Just token off on the side. Okay. I think you can, yeah, just play Fable, Soul Transfer, the, um, the Corpse Appraiser, and you can crew your Bank Buster to attack the Liliana, rather than, than exiling it. Unless, no Fable from QJ here to get both modes of the... So I expect QJ to probably play another Bank Buster. Oh, no. We are finally going with the Fable play. Okay, so that's a little bit of a misstep. If, if you're doing both, you might as well get both modes. Yeah, I agree. Um, off of your Soul Transfer. Looking for yep. Blake Oil Serpent. Yep, Cycle of the Xander's Lounge for Tyler. Take another draw. And I do like how patient Quentin's being with the with the abrade. Right. So maybe showing that he is kind of aware that there might be a uh... Okay, we see Liliana again from pretty, pretty Tyler. Easy attack here for Tyler. Yep, attack for uh, puts puts Quinn in a position where he's basically just dead to the, the serpent. Yeah. Tap, draw. See, go for the throat. Drawn. 
this is a tough call for QJ. I assume that you're supposed to discard um, the bank buster, but I'm not positive. Yeah, it's it's hard to do that. He wants to hang on to the go for the throat to make sure he can answer a shield red. Um, a braid for the blade coil. All right, the other two cards are oh, just opting no discard. Okay, yeah, opting no discard, drawing a card. Is he opting no discard, or is he... Re oh, responding, maybe, to... Yeah. Nope, opting no yeah, discard. opting no discard. Three mana for Fable. And looks like he does have all the mana available, too. Yep, another Bank Buster. those he's coming up both things covered and we could maybe see a, like a, a combo finish right with the the two fables um you know copying each other um i guess what do you discard here to liliana well i assume that you activate the bank buster first to see what you want to discard maybe you don't though because then you're dead to bank buster here to the, the to the serpent to the serpent. Well, you now you're dead at the serpent either way. Yeah. But I think Tyler probably mannerisms is not uh, like someone who has a blade coil. Serpent. Yeah. Oh, drew, drew another braid, anyways. All right. We untap. Take a draw. That's a, a corpse cool. appraiser. It's a corpse appraiser. This actually means a lot of things. So one, it means that he's going to be able to kill one corpse appraiser, play another corpse appraiser, copy corpse appraiser. Is that actually lethal? Uh, can't copy a corpse appraiser yet. They oh, that's true. Thing that's does true. Leave the battlefield. So yeah, that's fair. Um, Good catch, Patty B. Yeah. I think though the only corpse of the, the only creature in graveyards right now is the corpse appraiser that Quentin left in his graveyard. Right. So maybe that was a choice, right? To to not um, get it back. I see now they're looking like uh, what's in the yard. Praise some corpses. Looking at one, two, ooh, Siphon Insight, two lands. It would be hysterical if this Siphon Insight <laughs> grabbed the, uh, the serpent. serpent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't think we've seen what the other card is from the first Siphon Insight. Is we that have... still hanging out over there? It is. Okay. QJ has to decide between that Abrade and that Go for the Throat now. Yeah, looks like he's going with the Abrade route. Um, seeing two Shieldreds. Um, all right, so maybe respecting that more than the Serpent at this point. And we see a crew on the Bank Buster. Looks I have two cards in hand. All right, Tech Keep Liliana, treasure. Tech you. Put you to six. Okay. Two mana. Go for the throat, Fable. Okay. Okay. Let's see an untap here. Uh, 
or bank buster. Yeah. Knocking the bank buster for luck. We'll see a draw. left. Go for the throating the corpse appraiser. Quinn's maybe deciding if he wants to siphon insight in response. Maybe find a, a counter spell. Or maybe another creature off of uh, Tyler's deck. Could take a draw with his own bank buster. I expect that Quentin will both siphon inside this turn and draw with his own bank yeah, buster. Yeah, I guess he's got all the mana in the world to do that. Oh, what's that resolve? Pass his turn. Just go black blue, siphon you. Siphon inside, really? Flexing here. Draw for Bank Buster. Quinn leaving Siphon Insight onto the battlefield for the extra. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the extra rubs. All right. Can Quentin draw a creature? Well, he can... Um, Tell you what he can do. He can... Activate Bank Buster. Make a treasure and a 1-1 one -one to crew the other Bank Buster. Siphon Insight first. All right, let's take a look at your top two. Got a reader. like a land and another card checking the interaction that second siphon insight was picked up by the judge by the judge okay Okay, so there's Quentin taking the draw with the Bank Buster. So this does put Lethal on board for Quentin if uh -huh. Tyler doesn't have something that can stop it. It's just to make this appear. And Quentin will put himself at 3-1 in position for top 8. Um, yeah. Okay, so yeah, mostly found lands in his own make it disappear off of Tyler's deck when he was giving the cards back to him. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Okay. That will do it for this round. Quentin wins 2-0. We'll be back for with round five.